for the past few months, I have used this movie as an example of almost any point I wanted to make. And I had not seen this movie until this morning. And Wonder Woman... And your thoughts. ...was just fine. It was... It was okay. It was, it was okay. Yeah, it, it's not great. It It's definitely the... It's still the best out of the new DC movies. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's the best DC movie for sure. Um, But it... But it's... It's so long. It's forgettable. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. It's really long for starters. Um, So I watched this one for the second time yesterday. Mm-hmm. And Chris was like, "Are you, you're watching this again? I was like... Yeah, I'm watching for the podcast. It's like, yeah, but we just saw it. I'm like, yeah, but I literally cannot remember a single thing about this movie. <laughs> like, I couldn't tell you what this thing's about. I need to, like, I have to watch it again. Yeah, it, uh. And, uh, watching it through the second time, I realized, I was like, this is not as great as no, I remember. I, so. It's just, it's, it's, it's okay. What, a lot of the points that I would make throughout the podcast was that when it came out, it was held up as this great thing, this monumentous thing for women and women's rights and like getting fair representation and all this stuff. And I was like, man, I've, it, after a couple months, yeah. that conversation like went away, you know, like that is just like, so the thing is great movies, people will continue to talk about forever. Right. Or not forever, but for a very long time. Like people will still talk about Heath Ledger in the Dark Knight. You know, like how his performance was pretty much was so, you know, amazing and groundbreaking and all this stuff. And that was the buzz going around when it happened. And people will still talk about it the same way. Uh Well, with Wonder Woman, people were talking about the movie in a similar way, about how important and how great and like how it's such a big thing. But then it just stopped. It just died. People don't care about this movie anymore. And it's because it's just fine. I I wonder why that is. You yeah. wonder woman why that is? Because it's it's not the Yeah. <laughs> because it's not the movie that gives it the buzz. It's it's the it's, it's uh, the political side of it all. It's mm, the I had the word Well it's it's the idea mm-hmm. of what the movie is. Is where the buzz is, and then once you get to the actual movie, it's it's not there. Yeah, I, it's like it's it's not a bad movie, and it's definitely the best of the DC, but it's still, it's to me, it's a pretty boring. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think it does anything groundbreaking. I don't think it does anything that notable. Like, there's, it's, I mean, again, it's I, like I'm kind of sick of uh, superhero movies. I'm finding out the more that I watch, I'm just like I. Yeah. Like, I'm just not excited for him anymore. So that, that's probably a big part of it. But like, the thing is, when there's this huge, I'm, huge yeah. hype going into this and similar with Black Panther, I want it to be good. I want it, like, I'm excited when I hear like, oh, this is so great. And, you know, this is such a huge step forward for women or for, uh, black people, African Americans, whatever, like, whoever it is, whatever, whoever it's a positive step for. I'm like, oh, awesome. You know, I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. it, you know, so happy that that's happening. And then I go and watch it and I'm like, seriously, this is your giant step. Uh, this is yeah. just a generic, you know, run of the mill. Like Wonder Woman isn't better than most Marvel movies, you know, like it's, it's just, it's just fine. I think Wonder Woman. Yeah. I would compare it to. Thor to me, to be honest. Yeah, I was gonna say like it, it's in the the realm of like Ant Man, Doctor Strange, those movies where it's like, oh yeah, I think maybe Doctor Strange is a better comparison. Like it's a good movie. I don't think it's better than Ant Man, but Doctor Strange for sure. Like I think Ant Man is more fun. Um, but that I, that's almost oh, a different yeah, thing, know. you know. Um, but it, it's just it's like it's not. It's not special, you know, and obviously nope. I'm not, I'm not a woman. So maybe that's my problem. I don't think so. 
I, I feel like I'm pretty fair. That's always been your problem. <laughs> That's what I hear a lot. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty fair in my assessment of this movie. Like, it's just, I don't know. It, it's not that great. Yeah, it, it literally, it, it could have been any, any superhero in this movie, like interchanged, you know, it, and it's, it's just standard. Well, th- it's something I even it's, felt with, um, yeah. Captain America 1, the first Captain America. I would rather watch a war movie uh-huh. than watch a superhero based in a, a real war because there was legit heroes, like real life heroes, that are in American history that I would rather see their story told than see how Captain America stopped the Nazis. Or, Desmond Doss. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like I would rather watch yeah. one of those, like a true life story of a real hero who really did help stop, you know, these evil people. And like, it's fine. Like it's not a problem to right. set superheroes in a real life situation. Like that's, it's fine. But it's it's almost the idea if like yeah, I, I, if Captain America stopped nine eleven from happening in the movie, you'd be like, "What? Uh-huh. No, he didn't." You know, like, no, that definitely happened. You yeah. you weren't there, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it, it, it's just I'd rather them just everything about their world to be just its own thing, separate. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't have a big, I, I mean, I don't really have an issue. Like, I, I kind of like the aspect of superheroes fighting in our wars, you know, cause I feel like maybe that would happen. But, but like you said, I don't want them to be like maybe the turning point, right? Yeah. Like, oh, well, we would have lost World War II if Captain hadn't fought. Like, I don't want him to be the reason we won. I just like that he contributed. Well, I think, uh, the one thing Wolverine Origins did really well. Is that opening scene where him and Saber Tooth? The only thing. Yeah. The only thing. (laughs) Are fighting throughout the wars. Fighting all the wars? And they were just grunts. I thought that was fantastic. That's one of my favorite. They were just grunt soldiers who died in every single war. You know, like, in each war they end up dying. Like, they weren't pivotal, really. They were just, you know, fighting because that's what they believed in. Nope. They're just. And, like, I thought that was. That's what you did if you were. A male at that yeah. age. And I thought that was done really well. I thought that was really cool. But again, that's, that's what, two minutes? Yep, I agree. This whole Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman takes yeah. place yeah, exactly. almost throughout, or the, the movie is almost all about war. And it, in the end, it turns out, um, the god of war is who is causing all this stuff to happen. And it's, I don't know, I, I just, it really fell flat. And I, I think, I think I had a harder time with it because this movie's two and a half hours long and it's pretty slow in a lot of points. And so it's so long. <laughs> when you have a slow, long, boring movie, it makes it that much more time for me to think about the things that I don't enjoy about it. And it makes it much worse in the long run. Like if this movie was an hour and a half, if it was like yeah. breezy, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. The 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 one big thing that I would change is I would I think I would take Ares out of it completely. Yeah. And have him not kind of like okay, so before he's actually revealed to really be there and uh Steve what's the guy's Trevor? name? Well, it's Chris Pine in Steve the movie. Trevor. Yeah, Steve Trevor. He basically tells her like, "Hey, what if there is no Ares? Like it's just this is how people are." It's Aries isn't necessarily a person. He's 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 like an idea almost. Yeah. I I think that would have been better if if there wasn't like a if if the villains were just that guy and the and the Doctor Poison or whatever and like they're just bad people and there was, there's no actual God of War. Yeah. I I thought that would have been better. I didn't like that there actually was an Aries. Yeah, no, because I- in the end. Uh, it's not going to stop the war anyways. Yeah. So why have him? Also, yeah, he felt pointless to me. When Steve Trevor sacrificed himself, so he he runs up and gets on the airplane that's full of all these uh, the mustard gas bombs. 
he throws everyone off the plane, right? And he has control of the plane. Mm-hmm. And then he shoots one of the bombs and it it blows up the whole plane. Why did he not just fly it to safety? Or, you know, like back home to his people? Why did yeah, he? So here's the issue I have with that. Why didn't he? The, why did he sacrifice himself? There, yeah. I don't know. Like For it, one, they, it they would one make, of the things that they said was if this thing blows up, it'll take out everyone in a 50 mile radius. I'm like, well, he was definitely not 50 <laughs> miles away from anything. Yeah. He's, that's like the only thing that I, that I could have should have been done is like i thought he could just crash it into the ocean right yeah well like and if i don't know it, it doesn't make any sense the way that no because well, he's flying the plane turns around shoots the bomb and blows the airplane up so he has complete control of the airplane yes there's no one attacking him he's in no rush he's just yeah. like all right it's time for me to go boom and blows up it if they wanted him to sacrifice himself he should have been suffering like struggling to one get onto the plane and two to get to the bombs it should have been like he is going to die unless he blows it like if he doesn't blow these up he's going to die right afterwards anyways so his sacrifice makes more sense like there should have been like five guys in america where there's like that struggle between him and red skull over flying that ship and then it crashes into the ocean I don't remember that very well, but I trust you. It's the ending of Captain America. <laughs> I haven't seen it for a very long time. It it's the same concept yeah. with a different but, outcome. Or same outcome, I guess. One of the I think one of yeah, the Yeah, I I didn't care for that. One of the worst lines in this whole movie is in the middle of the movie mm-hmm. when they're at the battle and she's like we need to help them. These people are under attack and being put into slavery. And Chris Pine's character says to yeah. her, like, this is no man's land. Do you know what that means? No man can cross this land without dying, basically. And it's just like, uh-huh. just such a <laughs> terrible, terrible line. Like, oh, okay, no man can do it, but her being a woman, she can do it. Like, it's just so. You didn't say no woman. Yeah. It, uh, like the, yeah, but also at the my, same time. <clears throat> sorry, let me let me just finish this thought. I, I was like, my the, ahead, my issue ahead. isn't that she could do it. My issue is with the writer thinking, uh, oh, this is a clever line. Like, oh yeah, no man can do it, but this woman can. You know, what I mean, like, it just felt so so yeah. contrived and so forced and so like pandering. Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. It was so pandering, and it's just so bad. <laughs> you know. But anyways, what were you saying? But then, so I was thinking, I'm like, okay, when he says that, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe for like people, but like, what about everything that you've seen happen so far makes you think that like, she couldn't do it. Like she's blocks bullets. She, I, she so far, she's like got all these abilities. Yeah. But up to that why point, why do you just assume that she will just die here? She had only taken on like four guys. Up to that point, not like a full battalion. So it makes more sense. Like, I, I think he wouldn't really know what she was capable of at that point. Cause after that happens, they like support yes. her all the time. You know, like once they yeah. understand what her true powers are. Um, but the, uh, I don't know, is, it's, it's pretty bad. I didn't, I didn't care for it. Um, I, okay, I, so I like all the stuff that takes place on her island. Uh-huh. I think that's cool. Um, you know, with, with her colony of women and the yeah. training and this and that. Um, it's pretty much after she leaves that it kind of gets really boring to me. Yeah. The, uh, and it's just so long. Oh my gosh, it's so long. When the, the little actress, the girl actress was punching the, doing the uh, yes. shadow boxing. Oh. It reminded me so much of my yeah. kids. Oh, just yeah. that uncoordinated baby shadow boxing is just so funny. I don't know. I it's not great. It's, it, it's just yeah, it's boring. Boring. Way too long. I don't know. I don't even really know what else to say about it. 
Well, so my question there's, is, there's, there's no moments that I could say that I really liked. Nothing stands out as being like, oh, that was a funny moment. Nothing is like, oh, that was so cool. There were no fights that I thought were great. They all were kind of too over the top for me. Yeah. With like the jumping 50 feet in the air and then whatever. Well, there, there's no stakes or no, you, you don't feel worried for Wonder Woman at all. Like, no, it's like watching Superman. Yeah. And, and I don't know, it's just like just like Superman being one of the most boring characters, Wonder Woman is right there with him. Wrong. You're exactly right. I agree with you 100% on that point, Taylor. Wrong. <laughs> nope. Um the so okay, the one other thing that kind of bothered me was okay, so she is the daughter of Zeus, right? And yes. she's a weapon. Yep. That he leaves with the, the yes. women. Now, if she's leaving your island, right, and she's going to go be putting herself in danger, you know she is, wouldn't you want her to know, like, her full force, like, abilities so she can use those to better protect herself? Yeah. Uh, the, they say, like, they mention that. Okay, she's going looking for Ares. She's going looking for him. It doesn't matter if he finds her. Yeah. She's going, he's got, they're going to have a confrontation. Wouldn't you want her to have every, like, know as much as possible going into that fight? They, the, they mention it to the mom at one point and she's just like, she says something about, uh, well, she needs to, is, the longer it takes her to find out her true potential, the better, the safer she'll be or something like that. Like, yeah, they said the more she knows about, herself the faster he'll find her yeah that makes no sense yeah she's gonna find him <laughs> she's not gonna be in hiding anymore yeah why not let her know everything to give herself the best opportunity to win yeah i agree it's I, dumb i that that bothered me i didn't like that just like Superman. and the whole so, so so there's the oh my gosh so there's the sword the god killer yep. right what was the point of that if it wasn't what they said it was, just to trick her into thinking this is what you need. It was just a big elaborate ruse on her. She got punked. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't. Why do they call it the god? Because it it well, and it seemingly existed there for a long time, right? Who is that to benefit? That may, I didn't get the. Once you find out, it's like, oh, it's not the sword that can kill the god. It's her. Yeah. Then I'm like, what? Well, then what's the point of the sword? I, I don't know. I, this I, <laughs> this movie and logic did not seem to go hand in hand. Was it just a setup that she uses a sword as a weapon? Because I know like that's one of her weapons in the comics. But just like let her have a cool sword. Well, it was all. Ah. Th- this is one of those things again that you know comes up similar to fan service that it was all misdirect only for the audience's sake. You know, there's no, yeah. there would be, so even if they were trying to hide from her that she was the weapon to stop, uh, um, the God of War, what's his name? Ares. Ares. Even if, uh, yeah. they would not lie about a sword. You know what I mean? Like, if their goal was to yeah. keep her in the dark, there's no reason to make up a story about a sword. It's like, yeah, she doesn't have to know that there is a weapon that can defeat him. Like, it's not like, oh, well, we don't want her to figure it out that it's her. We'll say it's the sword instead. Yeah. Just don't tell her that story. Yeah. And I mean, even if Zeus told him that story, that it's the sword, why why would he do that? It was, there's no reason yeah, for it. Yeah, same thing. There's no point, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't care for the mythology part of it. No, and I think it's I think it's hard in any movie. I think it's hard to do something like that, um, that that's focused on mythology or magic or anything like that if that's not at the forefront of the story. Similar, like we were saying during during our Black Panther conversation about how when you have a main like a a famous actor in a a subplot or a sub role or not a main character, right? Uh, a supporting character is what yeah. I was trying to say. Uh, it's distracting. The same goes with magic mm-hmm. and mysticism and all that stuff. If that's not at the the heart of the story, if it's just like a, 
a world building device. A side it, part. It is just yeah. distracting. Yeah, I agree. But so I didn't care for that. Um, I'm trying to think. I. I just it, it's not a great movie. No. And it, honestly at this point I don't really care to see any more DC movies. Yeah, no, I don't either. Like I'm not I'm not interested in Aquaman. I'm not interested in any future Batman or Superman movies. Not as long as they're part of this grouping. The uh Gotham I the Gotham by Gaslight might be pretty good. I think that's what it's called. I think that's what the comic it's based off what of is at that? least. It's the uh, Joker story, but it's going to be like, I don't remember if it was in the 80s or the like the ni- or the 1880s or the 1800s, I mean. Like it's supposed to be like a period piece, but with the Joker. Uh, that sounds like it could be cool, but I, I don't know. I think what they need to do is get away from having a universe. There's no reason for it, and they're doing yeah, it really stop, poorly. Stop trying to compete with Marvel. Yeah. Because if you like they were doing fine before, you know? It, yeah, like if they, with the Dark Knight series and they're just making their standalone movies. They don't all have to connect. No. Cuz it just gets overly complicated when you start adding in all that stuff. If you don't have like a a clear vision that you're going with, like Marvel I think is really good about having a vision and sticking true to it. Even if it comes at the expense of being yeah. uh enjoyable movies. They at least stick true to their vision. Warner Brothers, yeah, there is an end, end plan. Is willing to just sacrifice everything for the sake of trying to make more money. So, like, they get bad feedback on Suicide Squad. They go and refilm a third of the movie and have three different people edit it and all this crazy stuff. Like, they need a. The reason why I believe Wonder Woman is one of the is the best. DC movie from this current run is because the, it didn't go through all that. It had one cohesive vision, had one, you know, one team behind it. It didn't like have all these changes and rewrites and all that stuff. Well, yeah. It stuck true to what it was in, trying to do. In the same do. vein of, yeah, in the same way as, as Black Panther is, it's, it could very easily be its own standalone film and not need anything else to yeah. go with it. Like other than you know the 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 very first scene and the very last scene where she's like talking to Bruce Wayne or whatever, that's the only connection to the outside movies, really, right? So yeah. I think that's probably why it works so well. Yeah, I. Yeah, it. Uh, Which is pretty much what you said, but I think it really was hurt by the um, the political conversation that was sparked from this. I think uh, of course. turning it into something more than it is is going to make it hard to be enjoyable. I'd be like, you, there There was like all that talk about women only um, uh, showings, screenings, screenings yeah. and uh, which is fine. Like, who cares? <laughs> like, yeah, go ahead, do that. Like, that's great. Yeah, yeah. You right. know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't bother me that they did it. The the weird part was people being so upset about it, but like yeah, they only didn't like it because they were told that they can't do something. Yeah. That's all it is. It's like being a kid. But like it now at this point after having seen it, it's just kind of like that. Like I again, I don't care that you do it. Do, go ahead, do it for every movie. For who cares? Like whatever. But this, if this is the only one you're going to do it to, this is a weird choice because it's not that great. Yeah, you know. I don't know. Yeah, that's, it that's, just it falls flat. Yeah, I, I'm just sick and tired of hearing that things are better than they are because of something else that doesn't attribute to it being good. You know, like yeah. Why don't you just you worry about making a good movie and then let me decide if if I think it fits that that role that you wanted to fit. Yeah. Or even I mean, there, like, I don't, don't try to tell me that's what it is. Well, I think that's even. I think it's okay for the creators. I think the creators, if the creators are like, you know what, this, this is a, you know, commentary on this thing or whatever. I mean, I think you're right that maybe you shouldn't come out and straight up say, oh, this is that. 
But I think making things with a political statement right. is fine. I think art is a great way no, that's to commentate right. on things going on in the world. It's people's responses that where it gets crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. you know I, I I think when we were talking about Get Out, it was a similar thing where I was saying like I, I just didn't really yep. understand what they're going for, and you said like, well maybe the point was just to make a a movie, you know like that people's response kind of blew it out of proportion to what they're doing. Like maybe their first, their first priority was making a cool movie. And then after that, it was more of the racial commentary, which is what it should be. You know, like your movie, if you want a commentary on anything to be effective, your art has to be good. You can't make bad art and have good commentary. Good first. Yeah. Cause that, that is not going to make your movie good. No, it'll, people will talk about it, but it won't. It's it's not fruitful. There's no. It's not gonna have the lasting effect. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't really have Just, anything else to say. about You could have cut forty minutes out of this movie. Oh yeah, for sure. You could have cut an hour out of this movie. I think. Uh, Jeez, it's so long. The you, that especially that middle battle where she crosses no man's land. Um. Yep. That was cool. That was a cool scene. That was great. And then they did it, and then they kept going. They went into the village, and they liberated the village as well. And it was like, just have them cross no man's land. That seemed like enough. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you added an extra 15-minute battle of her jumping into buildings and them blowing up. Like, I don't want to, I don't care to see that. Like, I, I don't get excited when I see a. That was bizarre. Uh, a, a, a fake person slam into a building and the building blow up. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 12 years old. I don't think that's amazing to see. You know, like, I want the substance behind what's going on. I don't care about these fake visuals. Now, if it's, if it's yep. a legit stunt, you know, if it's a, a showcase of actual stunt work, like John Wick or uh, yeah. Born Identity or Tom Cruise movies or something, you know, like where they actually are doing stunts. Yeah, that's that's yeah. awesome to see when you know, like, oh, wow, this is amazing how they film this. But when it's all CGI and it doesn't matter, you know, like when it she's yeah. jumping yeah. into a building and it could have easily been a volcano or a spaceship or a dinosaur or a school bus full of children. Like when you can easily swap out what's happening with no extra effort, who cares? Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. No, I'm just tired of uh, comic book movies in my mind are just dying slowly. (laughs) They're, they're getting slower, but as far as DC goes, like I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm really burnt out. They just haven't, they just haven't put anything out that's worth my time anymore. No. Well, I think I think part of the issue, well, DC's got a lot of issues, but part of the problem is Marvel has so much coming out and everyone is so invested yep. into that storyline that it's even kind of exhausting to see the Marvel stuff now, but it's like oh, I I, yeah. I want to know what happens. I'm going to go. And so even though you're kind of bored of it, and like you seeing the same things over and over, whatever. Yeah, it's like watching a show that used to be really good, and then it's kind of fallen off. But you got to finish it. Yeah, it's like the last season of How I Met Your Mother. Oh, <laughs> and you go in, and so you're already kind of sick of it. But then you go and see one that's outside of that main story, that Marvel universe, and is doing the same things mm-hmm. that you're sick of in the other. But you're not invested into the universe, and you're just like. But you're oh. not invested at all. Yeah. yeah, I just don't care. I think most of my, I don't want to say hatred, but maybe my dislike towards DC comes from Suicide Squad because for that one, I was so excited for it. Yeah. And Suicide I don't know, I, I know it was hyped. It was hyped up, but I, I, I know I did a lot of the hyping up myself, yeah. you know, to myself. Mm. Like telling myself how great it was going to be, this and that, and it just was awful. So then after that, I was like, I, I'm not going to get hyped for any of these movies anymore. No. Well, and uh, yeah. I didn't like Man of Steel when it came out. Batman vs. Superman was a disappointment. Suicide Squad was a disappointment. Justice League was awful. 
And Wonder um, Woman um, is huge disappointment. Wonder Woman is much better than all those other ones, but still not that great of a movie. But, uh, it, it, it might just look decent compared to the others. Yeah. But I got, and that's about all I have to say about Wonder Woman. I don't, I don't really feel like going through this scene by scene yeah, or anything. I'm done. It's just kind of, if you've seen it, I don't think you know yeah. what it is. And if you haven't seen it, then sorry, <laughs> go watch it. If you want to spend two and a half hours on something that you probably won't care about later, I probably i think i can firmly say that i will probably never see this movie again no like that's it yeah we i've seen it twice now and i'm we're gonna um rent it on apple tv but it wasn't for rent and it was for sale and i was telling my wife i was like i don't know if we should you know buy this because uh we'll never watch it yeah but it's 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 yeah that's really all there is to it well if you uh, like our show more than you like Wonder Woman, you can go over to Patreon and help us out. For a dollar, you can get uh, access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. You can also help decide who has to pay the punishment for that month. And uh, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we will be back soon.